Hello and welcome to a video explaining how to run a Teams match on BBO. So, first of all, you want to log into BBO as shown here. You then want to go into competitive, from competitive, Teams matches. And we're done. Wasn't that a great video? Not quite. So, click create team match. And you want to enter in a title. So, uh, we'll call this the test team match. Lovely. And what does the test team match do? I don't know. It's a match. It's a match. Lovely. So, for team name one, we can call it whatever we want. Let's call it the bloopers. And over here, we can have the shoopers. Lovely. So, we've got our individual team names. Go to options. So, we want to click imps because border match and total points are both a load of complete crap. There is absolutely no point to ever play total points. And border match is pretty poor as well. Uh, number of boards, you can clearly change this. You could have 16. Lovely. That's what we'll be doing for our June tournament. Uh, and in fact, deal source, we're going to use random deals as well. You can use save deals and load specific hands for things like um, Bermuda Bowl. You could load the World Championship type hands. But for our tournament, we're just going to use completely random hands so that no one can have seen them prior to actually playing in the event. So after this, we're going to come down to where it says options. And in options, we are going to, first of all, remove allow kibitzes to chat with players because you don't want the people to actually be uh, recommending what lines of play to say and say something like, oh, the finesse doesn't work. Pretty easy. Uh, allowing kibitzes is kind of up to the team captains. You can make that decision between yourselves. If you want people to watch or not, that's entirely up to you. It doesn't affect scoring in any way. In terms of allowing undos, personally, I believe that the option to allow an undo should be allowed. Not all undos should be accepted. And by this, I simply mean that should, you know, the bidding go something like one heart, I don't know, three hearts, four spades. Well, if you clearly had intended to bid four hearts there and, and your hand is not something that would bid four spades, then yeah, you should actually have an undo. It's a clear misclick. It's not. It's not kind of cheating in any way. But had the bidding gone, well, had, had it be like something in play and you take a finesse and the finesse loses, then asking for an undo would be uh, pretty unfair because, you know, everyone's going to take a losing finesse. That's what finesses are for. They always lose, full stop. So I think they should be allowed, but it should be a case by case basis. And, you know, you shouldn't get offended if your undo gets rejected. Just bear that in mind that you want to try and keep things fair. But also, you know, social. It's it's bridge. You want to be kind to your opposition. Uh, barometer scoring. So, do I have a hand loaded? I don't have any hands loaded. Bugger. Oh, well. So, barometer scoring will pop up with the scores um, board by board on the side of your screen. And that will tell you how you're doing along the match. Now, I recommend turning this off. And the simple reason is, when you get to the very last board, if you're losing by about five imps, you just want to sit there and bid game. It doesn't matter what's going on. You just want to bid game. If it's close, you bid it. If it's not, you bid it. Because if you make it, you win the match. And if you don't make it, you lose the match. So to put all that pressure onto one last board is, is pretty unfair, I think. And to then lose a match because the opposition have just punted some ridiculous game and made it is, is quite sad. So I believe it should be off. And just simply, you'll get the scores at the end. And that'll be quite nice. So now we go into reserve seats. So we have Team Blooper and Team Shooper. So this is where the Blooper North South would sit and the Blooper East West would sit. And then again, Shooper's North South and Shooper's East West. Okay. So that would at least um, set up the teams properly and it will swap out the East and the West pairs so that they can play the correct people. Now at the end of the match, a pop up will come up on BBO in probably the middle of the screen and it will say, Team, whatever you were, here's the number of imps you got. Okay, so from here, if you're playing in the June tournament, you can just flick me either the results either by Discord or by email. I will accept either one of those. They're perfectly fine. Uh, if you're just playing, you know, socially, go for it. There you go. You can know who won. You get bragging rights for the rest of the week. So that's always a good piece of fun. So uh, hopefully this video has been very instructive for you all. And uh, if you did like it, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. And hopefully I will see you again in another video.
Cheers.